Hey, so we're at the beautiful Bangalore Palace today, and at an event that is so important, it's going to decide the future of both Karnataka's and India's position as a global industrial powerhouse. Welcome to Invest Karnataka 2025. So we're here at the second day of the event, and the first day saw a huge number of important announcements. For instance, Lam Research, an American-based semiconductor research and manufacturing firm, announced an investment of over a billion dollars in the country to propel its semiconductor research and manufacturing capabilities. Other companies like Hitachi, Bosch, JSW, Tata Power also proposed various plans and investments in industries like clean energy, EVs, robotics, sustainability, and so on. So let's find out what's in store for today. We do have a billion dollars. If we had that risk-taking appetite, I wish we had those guts. Right, even before TPC had shown it could be done. Likely, someone in the audience is a genius who's going to invent something amazing, and I hope you're going to invest in them. There are a lot of startups and industries and countries showcasing their innovations and what they can offer to the people of India. Welcome to the Innovation Center Hub at the Invest Karnataka 2025. A lot of products from different industries and startups alike. For example, we have an all-terrain vehicle made in India from Athon, Athor, and we have Alpha Vinec, and we have River EV, a new entrant into the EV market, which is making quite a lot of buzz. And of course, Invest Karnataka 2025 is an international event, so we have pavilions and booths from different countries across the world. Starting from Asian countries like Thailand, Malaysia, South Korea, Netherlands, and the European Union, they're basically exploring how they can benefit India and what India can offer to them with their vast pool of talent, infrastructure, manufacturing capabilities, service capabilities, and so on. Wow, man, there's so much going on here at Invest Karnataka. Wait, what? Dude, what is a helicopter doing here? What you see behind of me is a fully electric six-passenger uh, aircraft. It takes twenty uh, minutes to charge. And it has a range of 160 km. Bangalore will be a hub uh, from where we will operate. We have a MOU with them. Like for example, if you're uh, going from Bangalore Airport to Electronic City, it takes around 150 minutes basically, and costs you around 2,500 crores uh, crores about. But if you take Sarla, the time saving is incredible. You might only spend 20 minutes. So and the price will be the same basically. So you get your time back. We have people and delegates from different countries. Trying to understand what India can offer. For example, there was also a panel discussion earlier in the day, where people from different governments were trying to understand what India can export and their expectations regarding the quality and quantity of goods. Look, many countries do have a deficit when it comes to certain sectors and the goods produced by it, so they do rely on India for a good part. And this is the platform to be. You have a lot of companies, you have a lot of trade bodies, and you have a lot of startup coming in and pitching their ideas about what kind of products they can export. And how people of that country can benefit from them. Karnataka has a very good ecosystem in terms of you know uh, in in tech sector, in right. the IT sector, also in the industrial sector. Right. A fantastic platform right. for us to you know also talk about what Italy can offer, what Italian companies can also look forward uh, when they are you know landing in a place right. like Karnataka. Right. You know having this established with you. Right. We could meet a lot of uh, interesting people and could get their uh, insight on what is happening in AI, what is happening in global capability center. So it was a very insightful uh, event. I feel that the world has come to India. Right. What is missing? Nothing. Right. That's nothing that's is. You've got the youth. You've got the language. Right. You've got the education level. You've got the creativity. You've got the hunger. You've right. got the manpower. Right. You've got the right. space. You've got the mat. What is missing? The new industrial policy 2025 to 2030 aims to create over two million jobs. A new single window system is going to streamline business process approvals in the state, making Karnataka the most investor-friendly state in India. Karnataka also is expanding its GCC footprint across various tier 2 and tier 3 cities like Mysore, Shimoga and Belagavi. Overall, Invest Karnataka 2025 is not just about making Karnataka a powerhouse of a state in India, but also putting it on the global map as a powerhouse of a region.